Hello guys, welcome to another video with Cass on the Mismo channel. So today I'm bringing you a project based on darkham 77s idea. He's currently playing on a Skyblock server where players are allowed to teleport to your island. So his idea was to have a kind of reception room like this and once a player spawns in here, he needs to know a specific code to move on. He can have a sneak peek, he can see your island from this little window in here, but to actually visit the island, he needs to know the correct code. So, assuming this armor stand represents one player, if uh, he, inputs, he or she inputs the incorrect code, uh, then the floor will open and bye-bye. <laughs> but, of course, if they know, the correct password, a door will open allowing them to go inside. I included a little kind of uh, hall of fame in here so uh, if anyone is able to beat the system they, they can leave a message in here. And I thought this was a kind of interesting challenge because uh, the server actually runs on an older version of Minecraft. I think it's 1.8. So yeah, they don't have observer blocks in there. And also there is a hard limit to the number of uh, hoppers that you can use as well as comparators. And, I'm, sh and I'm, I'm not sure about everything else, but well, this means that you have to build a password system uh, that opens the floor if the player makes a mistake and if it's correct, uh, it should open a door that uh, there needs to be a password checking thing all without using observer blocks as well uh, as not using hoppers and droppers because if you don't use hoppers most of the time you're automatically not using droppers so interesting challenge so yeah let me do a quick explanation of the circuit in here so the input panel is taken care of by this uh, red circuit, which was actually designed by Dockham, so credits go to him. The only change I made here was to alternate between redstone dust and repeaters, since you can, uh, the, the use of redstone on the server seems to be limited. Uh, then he uh, uh, uses cauldrons in here, but those are also totally replaceable, because one of the goals is to also make this uh, as cheap as possible. So to replace the cauldrons, you would need to have for instance, furnaces with items inside, and once you have a solid block in front of this, then the, the comparator will uh, activate, so you can basically replace all of the cauldrons with um, solid blocks. So the reason why he didn't do that is because he also has a, a iron farm in there. The green circuit is obviously the trapdoor control, so a yeah, pretty simple one. and. Uh, the, the code itself is not order sensitive, so you can input the code in any order you want, uh, except for this button, because uh, in his original setup, he has a separate button on the other side that you can click, which is called the confirmation button, but in this case, I, just for aesthetics, I decided to include the confirmation button in here, so it's in line with the other buttons, it's just for the looks. And every time you press the confirmation button, you're going to fire this monostable. This is once again, uh, the, the redstone block can be made cheaper uh, if you use a repeater here and a lever on top of a piece of slab in, in there. So this can be cheap as well. I'm using a comparator here because comparators can make a quick pulse go to torches and those torches are responsible for the reset system. So every time you input the password, if you hit the confirmation button, no matter if uh, it's right or wrong, the password will reset. So the next player who comes in uh, is not going to be able to see what the correct password is. Um, the black circuit encodes your password. So uh, where you have repeaters is where the lamps need to be turned on. And this last one uh, will need to be on all the times because it's all, because it also works as the confirmation button. It's expandable, uh, as you can see. I can make it smaller or bigger. And uh, the the system that checks for the answer is uh, just a AND gate. So uh, the confirmation button is keeping this torch on. Once you press the confirmation button, this line goes off and the trapdoor opens and <laughs> this sends the, the player to the void. But 
uh, if the, cur the, the code is input correctly, this line turns off. So the storage will block the trapdoor. It, it won't be able to open if and only if the code is correct. At the same time, it sends a direct signal to this uh, jab door in here and then it opens. The, this is just a pulse extender and this is the actual jab door. So let's see this in action. Once again, I can actually break these blocks so you can see the redstone line on top. So this is the current uh, correct code in here. Uh, you can see this redstone line will turn off. Turns off and the password is reset. The door will be kept op open for a while. Uh, if you don't have enough time to cross, to go to the other side, the trapdoor will not open. So you, you're going to get another chance to input your code in here. And once you are on the other side, wow, you can you can have your name on the Hall of Fame here. Uh, also, if needed, this door can be opened from the other side. You just need to hook this button up to uh, somewhere else. And that's basically it. I found that this was a, a quite nice challenge. So yeah, if you feel inspired, maybe, maybe try to visit the server. I left you guys a link in the video description if you want to check out Takem's uh, video. Uh, he's, he has a series on this skyblock thing. So I also made this system because I was in the process of making any more advanced uh, password system that I'm going to show you in a few days. So if you need the download map for this world, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye. Thank you.